Difference. You only listen for one. Mm. Come on, anorexia dinner. Real food, oh, remember? How prehistoric. Mm. Packed some fat around the old heart. Do we have to listen to that? She's your daughter. Yes, but she listens to you. Only for a second. The rest is just white noise. Hey, Dad. Did you know Sherry's little man got busted for drunk driving? Her mom went nuts. I don't think that's any of our business, Noreen. Mr. Bomler's a client of your father's. I hope you don't call him the old man. Well, he is an old man. Of course. Married to an old lady. I thought you didn't like Sherry anymore. Well, I don't. But I think her old man getting busted's pretty neat. He didn't get busted. Criminals get busted. Mr. Bomler was arrested. The guy was a camel out of his mind. I saw him a couple weeks ago coming out of that dump on Elmwood. He needed a compass to find his own hands. So, tell me, how's the clarinet coming? Ah, oh, terrific. I'm turning boredom into an art form. Now, Kenny, that's the same clarinet your father learned to play when he was your age. Ah, uh, yeah, it must come in real handy when it's to serenade some dupus into a whole life policy. Just what is it about me that you don't respect? Nothing. I just think the clarinet stinks. So does the meatloaf. Stay quiet, stay alive. Diane, please. Do what he says. Listen, we'll do, we'll do anything you want. Just don't hurt anybody. What do you, what do you want? Ask your little no-color choir boy, huh? Oh! You owe me six oh, grand. Oh! And do you know these boys? Mom, please! Look, guys, I'll get it. I... Just need more time. Get it? Get what? What is school? <laughs> Time's up. There's a new jag in the driveway. Come on, give up the keys. Give him the keys. We take little sister here to the prom. It was nice meeting you folks. Sorry we can't stay for dinner. some kind of cowboy that run into the middle of a shootout and sling lead. Police works of science now. You got your computers, you got your forensic, and you got your wimpy public defender who will spit your case out of court unless you ask his client what kind of rosary his mother used to pray for a mom. Yeah, yeah, I know, but listen. Let's say we get a call, uh, a 415. We got six guys with knives and chains who are ready to do some damage on some cops. Cops who happen to be us, West Bend. We leave. Get out. Okay. But we can't. 
because they got some lady with them and she's screaming for help, huh? We still leave. I don't. You do if you're with me, Pancho. I got six months left in the stage play, and I'm not going up and smoke on a 415 where some little old lady is screaming for help. My old lady screams for help. Big deal. I take it to the movies. Is that what they taught you in the academy? 30 years ago, there wasn't any academy. Just the streets. You rode in the back seat of a black and white for a week and a half, and you got to go to grade school, and a couple of guys were trying to kill each other or taking stuff that wasn't theirs. It was simple then, but like I say, police works a science now. From what I hear about you, the uh, academy must have a new John Wayne goes to cop school course. There's two guys you rode with, both ended up in the clinic with busted noses. Seems you like to roll in hot and kick tails. I don't want to kick tails. Yeah, you do. Because with that baby face you got, everybody's been kicking yours since the seventh grade. I know you're dead. He's a good cop. One thing for sure, he's a hell of a lot bigger than you are. One zero six, code one. Well, maybe that's why I made such a good target. Yeah. One zebra six, go. A two eleven report at seven two nine Sycamore, corner of Herman. One zebra six rolling, over. Well, wait, 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 on the train. I got the train. Thank you. <laughs> You say you uh, never saw these guys before? Well, no. I'm in insurance. Well, and at this point, I hope that Jaguar of yours is covered. Because unless I get something to go on, it's going to be prime of gray and sold in pieces by tomorrow noon. He won't tell me anything. He's locked himself in his room. <sighs> Last time he did that was when you wouldn't let him go to the Eurythmics concert because he got a D in gym. What a star my brother is. He can't even throw a baseball. Hey, are you old enough to be a cop? You look just like that kid in Pretty in Pink. Yeah. <laughs> but we don't let him wear pink anymore. Attracts attention. Miss. Hmm? <laughs> Do you think there may be the possibility of your older brother Kenneth having previous knowledge of the suspected perpetrators? In other words, Princess, did he know these jerks had ripped off your dad's car? Oh, they said they knew him, but I doubt it. They're pretty hard guys. Kenny's in the school band. Huh? Thanks. The milk is mine. Maybe it'll not so big enough to have its own zip code. Anyway, we let Clint Eastwood here drink coffee up until 10 o'clock. Did you get through to him? I'm scared, Bill. You're the one who uh, just finished domestics, partner. You're up. Kid graduated top in his class at the academy. But personally, Bill, if Kenny were my kid, I'd unscrew the hinges on his door and beat it out of him. <laughs> Please forgive my partner. He went to grade school in the backseat of black and white. <laughs> Is your son a good student? Except when it comes to gym, yeah. You flunk that, you don't get to go see the Eurythmics. Kenny, the police are here to help you. <laughs> yeah, sure. Kenny, get down here! Give me a second, all right? Scared, huh? Did you know the guys that stole your dad's car? I won't tell you, spit. It's not against the law to be afraid. So why don't you just leave me alone, all right? Okay. But what happens if they come back? Doctor, he got diddled in the splash can. He wasn't going to tell us a thing. Why waste time? Look, we turn it over to Juvenile, and they'll enroll Kenny and his old man into a tough love program or something. Like you're the expert, right? Hey, pal, domestics graduated top of the class. Anyway, that kid was too scared to tell us anything but what wasn't true. Three weeks in the field, and I'm writing with a child counselor. Here, let's see what they taught you about driving one of these, and watch the potholes. They got hemorrhoids, too. You know, Charlie, Maybe your old lady should have you put to sleep. My old lady does put me to sleep, kiddo. That's what makes the marriage work. Shit! 
Shut up! And you do exactly what I tell you. Open it up. I said open it up! He had that face! Yeah. What's the rest of it? Is that all there is? Huh? Yeah, right. Fuck it. What do you think of sticking the uh, kid sideways? Drugs? Yeah, seems to be. Figure he owes his dealer when the guy came to collect. <laughs> and I got a dime that says his old man won't even file a charge. Might make too much noise on the first tee. I mean, it might be drugs. It could be anything, but can he hardly look like an addict? What did you expect? Lenny Bruce? Nowadays, you find more junkies in pro sports than you do in a jazz club. Make a note of where that kid goes to school and we'll turn him into the desk. Okie dokie. Turn around. Why? The car back there I want to get a closer look at and take it nice and easy. Everything okay? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Positive? Yeah, what's the problem? Just wondered why you stopped for a green light or so. Okay, John Henry, lights and sirens. All units in the vicinity, N1C for 6, a 211 just occurred, 126 North Kensington. Suspects are armed and in a late model gray sedan, southbound on Roy Cross. Roger the call, Colonel. This is one zebra six to control. We're in pursuit of an early model gray sedan. Vehicle is a Dodge. License plate number is... Gravity is the key here, kid. In pursuit, wants and warrants. Dodge, low rider, two, Baker Edward, 135, over. and remember my condition. What are you, nuts? You said we're pursuing, I'm pursuing. Get off this one-way street, you idiot, before you kill somebody. out your gun. All right, fellas, come on out now. No fast moves in your history. All right, come on, come on. Put that piece on the hood. Turn around and fall on the car. All right, let's sprinkle it. All right, cover them, Hanson. Look, find a payphone and call in for a backup. Are you gonna be all right? Yeah. Why don't you use the radio? Because I pulled it out trying to find something to hang on to. Six months to go to retirement, and I'm riding with evil can evil. What kind of merit badges they be giving the boy Scott for this type of gig now? Shut up, punk. I'm a tough guy. You have some ID, son? This is all the ID I need. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I got one like that for being the best playground monitor at school 18. Hey, don't move, Turbo! <laughs> Just the smoke, Heidi. Your grandfather's already got my pee. Now give him a break, the kid's new. New enough to blow another hole in your head. Don't move! I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> don't again, what's going on with that backup? Maybe he died of old age. Yeah. Oh! 
God. From me, huh? I feel like a child molester. Oh! Oh, nice work, kid. You're three for three. Another broken nose. Hey, Crash Gordon. Nice work, huh? Gonna have to deduct that black and white for your next paycheck, though. <laughs> Oh, hey, oh, I got a sinus problem, Doc. You think you can straighten it out for me? Funny stuff, Meadows. Come on, Mike. Hey, I'm telling you, the kid's a liability. I got this to some punk ass Hanson to show him his driver's license before he signed for a speeding ticket. Didn't think Hanson was old enough to be a cop. Did Hanson throw the first punch? No. Of course not. Because he's a good cop. <laughs> so he gets sensitive when some jerk pushes him about how young he looks. He'll get over it. Hey, who can wait? He's going through noses in this division like a, a Beverly Hills plastic surgeon. Yeah, well, yours looks better, Summers. I'll tell the kid to send you a bill. Come on, Mike. Let's give the kid a break. Hey, Slugger. Sorry about the nose, Charlie. Will you forget it? I'm Irish. I get worse than this every St. Paddy's Day. They find our unit? Most of it. Any suspects? It's worse than that. Captain wants to see you. What a surprise. Listen, kid. When life hands you a lemon, do as I do. Make a martini. Thanks. Yeah, I know. We all have trouble lately. Screw lately. Because what I got lately is most of your trouble when you boys don't do the job. Get it right, Lenny. All right, take it to the chief. Good morning, Captain. Come on, Donna, Donna's vice. All they want to do now is wear pink sport coats and drive Ferraris. How you doing? Oh, when it comes to what, sir? When it comes to you. you lousy. <laughs> no kidding. Look, there's really no other way I can say this, so I'm just going to say it. I got to make some changes. Mm -hmm. I figured you were probably going to say that, sir. I only got about an hour of sleep. Somewhere between the farmer's report and sunrise exercise. TV stinks that early, sir. Don't take it so hard. During the Korean conflict, I got tossed out of the Navy because they found out I was only 16. Outside, still one. I'm 21, sir. I'm 22. Look, when one of my officers rolls in hot on something, he's got to be able to control the situation, him and his partner. They're going to be able to scare the god out of whatever scumball is messing up. No offense. But sometimes you're not so much scaring them as you're making them laugh. Tony can tell you that. Nobody had to tell me. Look, Tommy, even Sugar Ray Leonard can't climb in the ring with Muhammad Ali until he makes the weight. It's like that. I mean, you're good, but, well, if I keep putting you out in the field, and putting my other men in danger. If something goes down, we don't know if the perps will get goofy. No one will ride with you anymore, Tom. You make them nervous, come in too pumped, too ready. Maybe too angry, I don't know. Maybe too young. I'm not angry. Not a lot, anyway. Okay, so what does this mean? I'm out? Terrific. Six months at the academy, now I can go manage a donut shop. Or maybe when my face clears, I can become one of those rent-a-cops who checks proof at a teen club. Maybe. But I got something else I think you'd be good for. You want to stick it out, you'd be a hell of a cop someday. Just come back in ten years. Ten years, you'd be too old for this kind of assignment. Sit down. Let me lay it out for you. What am I doing? I don't even smoke. The department's got an undercover program. It's the mayor's baby. Nobody on the force knows about this except Silver Shields and up. It's called Jump Street Chapel. Now, the reason it's called that is because this particular undercover unit works out of an old abandoned chapel in the corner of Jump Street and Sixth. Interested? Not yet. Every year, the department takes younger-looking officers, at least the younger-looking ones we think can handle the pressure. Teach them how to be teenagers again. Then we send them out to various high schools where we can use a good man undercover. Kind of like, uh, 
fast times that bust your buddy high? Kind of. Yeah. No thanks. See, I hated high school the first time, you know. Swimming in gym without trunks, health films, not getting the girl you wanted because you don't wear groovy enough shoes. And I don't think I'd get off covering some kid who threw a spitball at his chemistry teacher. I've had 11 homicides in high school since December. Look, I went to the academy to go on patrol, to be a police officer like my... to enforce the law. Tom, it's either this or I assign you to desk at Parker Center until you look old enough to be a cop. I am a cop. Hey, genius. Why do you think I'm making this offer? <sighs> think it over. I used to ride with your dad. I know. You'd be proud of what he did that night. Hey, if you catch those guys that lifted you black and white, I'll, uh, I'll give you the collar. Give us a Dunnigan. He's the one who got his nose broken. Got your dad's sense of humor, too. here right now. Hey, Dad, I got it. Wait, don't hang up. Hello? Hello? Howdy, sport. Mom home? No, I had to go to school. Why? I got into a fight with some kid. Gee, Tommy, not again. You shouldn't do that. We talked about it. Even when he says my old man's a fascist and all cops are pigs? Mom's real mad, though. She says I should grow up. Your mom's right. Now I'm lost inside the walls of Byzantium. I think I'll stay here for a while and have some fun. Please say a prayer for me. There's many things I'd like to be, but I'm not a chance and then I should submit my fate to circumstance but they do not see the visions that I see hold on glory yo everybody out the back door it's the bus because nobody told you this problem in a formal dumb pin off this is Jump Street Chapel right only if you're Catholic Aoki here thinks it's a Buddhist temple. Me, I think it's a synagogue. You know, my mom's Jewish. Which only means I get to celebrate both guilt and hell. Yeah, you see, his father was a priest. So, don't play bingo with this guy. He's a killer. Oh, must be putting you on to infiltrate the student council, huh? I doubt it. Officer Tom Hansen. It's T. Aoki. H for Harry, T for Truman. Guess what year his parents moved to the States. Yeah, then I'm named after the guy who dropped an atom bomb in my house. Yeah. Look, I'm here to see uh, Captain Richard Jenko. Yo! Jenko! You got a turbocharged of hair or something, Hanson. You look like Richie Cunningham. <laughs> hey, what's happening, man? Hi. I'm here to see, uh, Captain Jenko. Yeah? All right. Is he here? Yeah. Yo, autograph.
Well, uh, could you tell him Patrolman Hanson is here? I, uh, don't want him to think I'm late. Hey, you ain't late. You like that sound? Not really. Me neither. Praise God, hallelujah, maybe I'm saved. Been a deadhead since Woodstock. I didn't go, I was only five. Look, I've really got to check in with Captain Jenko. Yeah. Yeah, well, where can I find him? Hey, you're looking at him, Hanson. I'm right here. Except on Saturday nights, I play lead guitar with some bunko dudes in my garage band. You're Captain Jenko? Gets better, doesn't it? Hey, can you believe that guy? Huh? He could squeeze more music out of a Stratocaster than Eric Clapton, Jeff Beck, and Alvin Lee put together, man. Jimmy was the best. Too bad he had to throw it all away on a short ride getting high. I'm not uh, familiar with him. Who did he uh, play with? God. Breakfast? Oh, thanks. I'll grab an omelet later. Uh -uh. No, you won't. When was the last time you saw a teenager have a cup of black coffee and an omelet for breakfast? Uh-uh. From now on, it's potato chips, soda pop, french fries, and pizza, man. It's a Pepsi generation, sport. <laughs> don't, don't call me sport, OK? Hey, part, I'm your boss. I'll call you anything I want. Have a seat, sport. Look, Anderson. And while you were out in the field getting your butt kicked by all the bad grown-ups, me and my guys here were training to do some real battle. You see, the way I look at it, child is the father of man. I mean, these bad grown-ups are coming from somewhere. They don't just hatch that way. That's why we're trying to yank them out while they're still in high school, Dig? Dig? Hey, spare me the rap about how I talk, okay? Yeah, I know. You went to Woodstock, right? Right on, brother. Now, we're about four weeks ahead of you here, Hanson. So I'm going to have to rush you through some of the training. What kind of training? Pops! Going to teach you how to be a teenager again, sport. How does that grab you? I'm talking about the bad kind. The kind that gets into trouble. The kind you're going to have to be like so they think you're one of them. Dig? Hey, Hop! Wake up! Relax, relax. I'm up. Hops? Hanson. Hanson. Hops. Hi. Jude. Run his cat down a wardrobe and see if he can take some of the cop out of his presentation. And for God's sake, do something about the Jack Kennedy haircut, too, will you? Go with what Officer Hobbs tells you, Hanson. Been real, bro. Stick with Hobbs here, and she'll hook us up with a little field training tonight. Later. Are you kidding me? Oh, so Jenks a little bit of a hang-on hippie. Big deal. Because when it comes to going undercover, the dude is the best. I'm Judy Hobbs. Uh, that's OK, honey. My people don't do that anymore. Oh. Chip. Up the That's what this 
Jason, we got here some kind of killer hippie. Peace, love, pal. What tribe are you from? Extraterrestrial, man, like Pluto. You threw that bottle at my van, didn't you? Hey, what if he did? The whole crowd of us is only one of you long hairs. Yeah, well, you got a point there. Hey, you better ease up on the dude. Look like he got a lot of flower power. I hate flowers. Come on. Let's dance. Thanks, but uh, you might step on my toes. Oh! Non violence, man! Teeth don't hit me in the face! Hey, ease up, ease up! Why your fear? Okay, Hanson, that's your guy. Well, if that's the guy, why don't we just take him in right now? Because all I wanted to do was make sure Pinhall was cool and ID the creep. Gonna have plenty of chances to bust him. You know what to do? Yeah. Yeah? What might that be, sport? I'm gonna make a buy, no big deal. This isn't my first assignment, you know. I was on patrol. Ooh, patrol? You gotta eat a lot of donuts, right? Don't act like you do it all the time, Hanson. I think it'd be hard for you to buy a case of beer, man. <laughs> now, you ought to talk, Ioki. First time out, you bought a gram of baby laxative for a hundred bucks. Okay, cool it. Now, here's what's going down, Hanson. Now, you're Penhall's cuz, and you've been around the block a few times, so don't come on like Dick Clark. Now, these cats will make you port faster than Gail Sayers used to run for the Chicago Bears, you dig? Don't worry, we got you backed up. Just remember, no bust. The only reason we're doing this is so you don't look like some geek the first time you try to make a buy for real, comprendi? Okay. I mean it, Hanson. No bust. Oh, cuz! Hey, my cuz's here. No, Tommy. This is Jace. Yeah, you just tell me about? Mm -hmm. Come on. Your cuz says you're cool. What do you want? A lid? <laughs> A lid? Where you from, man? Omaha? Buffalo. Buffalo? Freaking place must be stuck in a time warp. It's $200 an ounce. You give me the money. I want to see it first. <laughs> no, you don't look at it. For $200, I want to see it first. OK. Let me smell it, too. Man, you must be from Omaha. What's your problem? No, the thing is, uh, what's yours? I think you're a cop. All right, I don't need this scumbag. I can get my drugs from anybody. I still think you're a cop. And pull the trigger. No, you ain't a cop. Cops have to be old enough to drive after dark. You're gonna have to learn how to trust those instincts, Jace.
You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. You cannot afford an attorney. Horrific, One will be horrific. appointed for you. What the hell are you doing, Hanson? Making an arrest. Suspect threatened to kill me. But not until I made the purchase. Open and shut. I solicited sale and we made the exchange. Didn't we, Jace? Didn't we, Jace? Hey, save it. Save it, man. What the hell are you going to charge him with? Illegal sale of a pair of smelly socks? What are you talking about? What's this? What's this? Panama Brown? Huh? Hey, why don't you save him, pal? I like to wear the ones with little turtles on the ankle pockets. He was burning you, pal! Huh? Good work. Good work, Anthony. Good work, man. Good licks. He just used up a bunk we've been watching for six months on an ADW, which will be knocked down to brandishing by noon tomorrow. Even a boot like you should know that. Take him in, Artie. Captain Jenko, look, I'm sorry. I was hey, trying man, to... Hey, man, save it, and please don't call me captain. Look, I was just trying to do my job here. Trying to what? Trying to cowboy the deal is what? Make a big collar be a real cop. And with you being a real cop, I got to pull pinhole out. Because every punk that's been hanging with Jace I'll be able to make him easier than Elton John in a hat shop. Come on, let's get out of here, man, like Splitsville. Good licks. Good licks, Hanson. Try that now. Nothing. It's a nice car you got there, Doug. It's not mine. It's Hoff's. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? Yep. Try it again. <laughs> this is your car? What's left of it, yeah. Really? Yeah, really. See, they were just all out of those purple caddies, you know, with the mud flaps and the fur around the mirrors. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Oh, must raise hell with your image. Try it again. The boat was stuck in the car. Okay, let's run this down. Ah, oh, so once we're getting an A-plus on your book report, we'll catch you in the Rhine. Well, everything's pretty steady over at Bennett High. I had time. I might even make honor roll. Groovy. You know, it's very unusual for honor roll students to hang out with felons. Like, what's your profile, Peaches? Penhall, what's shaking with you, bud? I figure with Jace out of the mix and my cover blown, well, I could play golf for the rest of the semester. Yeah, we'll figure again. Bob Hope plays golf. But don't sweat it, bud. I'm sure we'll find a place for you. Ioki, what's happening on the hill, Harry? Well, um, I got my due set up at Cleveland High for some quantity. But I'm still waiting for clearance from that six grand from Parker Center. Hanson, we're going to let you get your feet wet at Amherst High. Put you in there for a couple of weeks. Hanson, you're a disciplinary transfer from Wilcox with a suspected drug problem and a very bad attitude. Dig? Everything you need to know is in this deal. Read it carefully, Hanson. And please, do me a favor. Try not to blow your cover on the first day. Okie dokie. There's absolutely nothing heavy going on in Amherst that we know of. So just, you know, keep your eyes open, stay out of trouble, and remember, you're still in training. Let's go do it! Glad he's on our side. Put my feet on the floor, I can't take it no more. 
The guy's a friend. That right, Tyrell? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? My name's Tom Bauer. I'm new here. Make a hell of a first impression. Come on, who started it? All right, both of you. Jake Schaefer's office. Move it! Park the left. Just minutes into the first quarter on a Monday morning, I already got two players out of bounds. Gonna have to throw the flag on you, Tyrell. Two weeks detention. And I gotta send a report in to your probation officer, too. Now, he's not gonna like that. Might even make you park that Ferrari out in the bullpen. You get your hands off me, boy. Now you get out of here. This is not a real impressive completion record, Bauer. Seems like that Wilcox High, you threw a lot of interceptions. Real tough guy, huh? <laughs> Ooh, not to mention a couple of notes here about a whiff problem. You know, when I was your age, getting up for the game was a spiritual thing. I don't uh, play a lot of sports. We got a tough love program here in Amherst. I expect you and your old man to make it tomorrow night, or I throw you out of the league. Well, thank you, sir. I, uh, but my father works nights and uh, can't make it. Make him make it. Come on, Waxer. Leave me alone, man. You're gonna like it here at Amherst, boy. You're gonna like it a lot if you like dying. 